Ladies and gentlemen, Easton LaChapelle. Thank you. I'm here because I want to do something big. I ask myself now, how do I do that? I remember him when he was in seventh grade. He walked into class and he hadn't even sat down yet. He said, I am so excited to do this lab. I've been thinking about it all morning. I just can't wait. And I was like, is he kidding? When I was at the State Science Fair in Colorado, I met this seven-year-old girl and I realized that she had a prosthetic limb. One motion, open, close, and one sensor. And just this alone was $80,000 when he was in ninth grade. Easton stopped in to say, I've got this great idea. I really saw an opportunity to change this industry by creating a prosthetic that was under $1,000. Now being 14, I really had no idea on how to even dive into this. I use Legos as plastic supports small little motors from airplanes, fishing line as the tendons, and electrical tubing for the fingers, I assembled a robotic hand. It was exceptional to see that he was producing this in his bedroom. And now I can shake hands with myself now. It's awe-inspiring, and each year it just gets more and more amazing. And, you know, when I think he just turned 19 years old, you know, in November, it's hard for me to fathom what's next. Recently, I graduated high school and started a company called Illuminate Tomorrow, where a few of my friends and I were trying to change the world. We're in a garage in Cortez, Colorado, which is a very small town, hours away from the nearest interstate. We are making robotic limbs to help people do things that they normally wouldn't be able to do. My name is Rich Stewart. I'm 51 years old, and I was involved in an accident. A um, high-pressure oxygen bottle exploded and uh, lost my right arm immediately. I was fit with a prosthesis, a uh, hook, as, as everyone calls it. Now it's part of my Rich. identity. Hey, Stewart, pleasure nice to meet you. Great. So I have a lot of we'll cool stuff to show you, yeah. yeah. This hand is actually operated using your thoughts, using your brain waves, wow. so that reads right about 12 different channels <laughs> of your brain. I would love to have you try this and see if we yeah. can get it moving. Try and only focus on one thing. <laughs> All right. Huh. It's a big deal for me. It could mean confidence. It could mean more ability. I could see this being something that could change my life. Do you think you scare the prosthetic companies? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they, we're going to probably shut them down. Ladies and gentlemen, Easton LaChapelle. I'm here because I want to do something big. I could do a lot of things with what I've developed in the past five years. I could sell it, I could hold it close to my chest, or I could realize it's bigger than just me. For that reason, I am very proud to announce, right here and right now, I'm releasing the designs and software for my 3D printed robotic arm for free to the entire world by making this open source. We're perpetual. No one person can change the world. It takes, you know, multiple people. So if I can develop technology in a way so other people can take what I've done and grow from it and do something more with it, someone could take that and keep impacting someone else's life and eventually try and, you know, rule out a lot of the bad in the world by giving back to our own kind. I think it was when he was in eighth grade, he was 14. 
and he comes to me in a panic and he says, I don't know how to tie a tie. I'm trying to put my tie on, but I can't tie a tie. I was like, you can make a robotic arm, but... And I said, you know, there's probably a YouTube video on that.